The Deep was a kind of strange movie. It was one that I was really captivated while watching it um, and it has some really unusual elements to it that made it stand out for me. Now we have Nick Nolte and we have Jacqueline Bizet here as David and Gail, a holiday couple in Bermuda who are, are doing diving at the start of the movie. Opens up with this awesome diving sequences where they are just searching around a shipwreck. Uh, they go to this other kind of ship that they see suddenly appear um, in the distance and they start finding things and they find this really small vial. Um, don't know where it is but they put it in with the rest of their belongings and we get this prolonged underwater scene and this is something that the movie is, is famous for. It has these really long underwater scenes all the way through it and they're all exciting and they add a sense of mystery and danger to the movie and even in the opening scene something happens to beset character that, that is never really explained to start off with and it's just one of these terrifying uh, underwater fear mongering ideas that kind of gestated in my brain throughout the movie and when we get this couple coming out onto the beach a guy happens to notice that they've got this vial and before they know it these guys find themselves in the middle of a couple of dangerous people. We get Lou Gossett Jr's character of Cloach, a man who just seems kind of sleek and kind of dangerous and a little bit wary. Um, and we have Trees, played by Robert Shaw, who is this cantankerous uh, man who knows a lot uh, about shipwrecks, a lot about the debris and all that, and who is simply gobsmacked that the, this holiday money couple have discovered something as grand as what they have. See what has happened is a storm has unearthed the Goliath, eh, a warship that went down eh, several years prior and was loaded up eh, with various drugs and now Coach eh, wants to get a hold of all these drugs because he can sell them and make a profit and Trees wants to search this because he discovered thinks that there is another wreck underneath this that may lead to actual treasure and there is a lot of weight put on this a story of this holiday and couple um, of these people put in situations that they probably shouldn't be in of the weight being put on them by these people who uh, live on the land to do their nefarious biddings type of thing and of course David and Gail decide to go with Tracy's character because he doesn't seem as strong armed as what they are but he is definitely the one that takes control of all this. And what happens is, is they start to have these recurring visits down to this ship where they're digging up all these vials of drugs and looking for other things. And the underwater photography is fantastic. It's where you realise how such great shape the transfer is in. And it is stunning. You can crystal clear see everything that's going on down here as they swim in and out of these very shallow gaps as they, they squeeze through these small spaces as they start to dig in the sand. There is some stunning photography where they have these vials uh, where they wave the sand away and the vials just come dancing atop of the sand and it's a stunning visual and you get young Nick Nolte and, and uh, Jacqueline Bissett who are just not this out the park as well with their performances. Uh, this was Nolte's first leading role as well and then you've got old hands like uh, Shaw to kind of lead the way as well and Eli Wallachie uh, who's in this for, for a period of time as well who's just it was awesome to see him appear in this film and the film uh, almost about two hours in length just kind of zips by you know you, you kind of get lost in these city scenes where they're underwater where you feel as if everything else is just faded away and you're just concentrating on them uh, searching looking, trying to get things they shouldn't get to, uh, feeling yourself hold your breath when they do something death defying. There's a scene where Nolte has to try and reach something that he can't quite get to and his tank is holding him back from getting into that tight space and he decides to take it off and try to squeeze in to reach and grab what he needs to get and you find yourself sitting there holding your breath realising because quite clearly you can see that it's Nolte squeezing into this small gap and I'm sure there were safety precautions but it just looks amazing and it's extremely tense and there's other elements 
like that as well. We discover that there is a Mori eel living in this shipwreck as well that is uh, being antagonised by other people being on its land and that is looking to fight back when it can. So you have all these terrifying moments of them just going round corners waiting for something to just reach out and grab them. Uh, and that adds a whole new level of tension. You have the boat atop the water as maybe things are attacking that or causing situations up there that just make things even more tense. This is a movie where you get put through the ringer. You know, it doesn't feel that there's a real solid story there. One that, that really makes you go, wow, it's, it's amazing, it's fantastic. It, it, it never quite has that to it but it has all these exciting, tense and suspenseful scenes that make it really worthwhile checking out. I really like this movie. I had a lot of time for it. It's one that I would thoroughly suggest getting. The disc transfer is amazing. Those underwater shots, which are prolonged and which there are plenty of, are worth the price alone. There is a stunning book clip that comes along with this one that I've just finished reading, which I thought was tremendous, one of the better booklets I've seen with any release recently. And The Deep is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, and I'd love to know your thoughts on it, what you think of it. Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.